Here's how you can repair your iPhone yourself, including getting official Apple parts, finding official manuals, and renting real tools. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe and enable those notifications so you don't miss a single video. Recently, Apple introduced a way for anybody, including you, to repair your own devices. It's a big step from a company that historically requires you to bring your phones into the Genius Bar to get any sort of repair done. The new self-service repair portal makes it easy to order official Apple parts, get access to repair manuals and diagrams, and even rent the necessary tools to do this yourself in your home. It's a lot easier and less intimidating than it sounds, and I can provide all the information for you to do it yourself in this video. Let's go ahead and start. The first thing you'll need to do is head to selfservicerepair.com. This is technically operated by a third party. Down here you can see Spot, but this is Apple's official repair portal. So you're gonna go ahead and hit start your order. Now you first have to choose your product, and in this case, it's only limited thus far to iPhones. So we'll choose the iPhone family and then the specific model. You can repair any of the iPhone 12s, any of the iPhone 13s, or the iPhone SE third generation. In this case, I'll choose my iPhone 13 Pro. Then we need to choose what type of repair. At the moment, you can repair the battery, the bottom speaker, the camera, a cracked or broken display, the SIM tray, or the Taptic engine. So some common ones may be the camera. We'll go ahead and choose that. All of the official parts will then appear below. You can buy them individually, such as the camera by itself, or the display adhesive by itself, or there is a bundle that includes all of the necessary pieces. It's also the one that is featured as recommended. In this case, you can see it has a display adhesive, the necessary screws, and a new camera module. So we can go ahead and add this to cart. You'll notice that price is $117.35 here in the US, but you do get a $30 credit returned to you after you return your broken camera module. So once you return that back to Apple, they will refund you that $30. So you can go ahead and add this to our cart. Before we do so though, we have this pop-up. You do need to provide a serial number before you can continue. This stops people from just buying parts and repairing phones and charging money, all that kind of stuff. So you do need to find your serial number before you can continue. Then you also have to enter the repair manual ID. This means you have to go find the repair manual, basically look through it and enter the code. This helps ensure that you've actually looked through and understand what you're doing before trying to do the repair. So we'll open this in a new tab. Here are all of the manuals that Apple provides for its devices. And in this case, we're gonna go ahead and choose our iPhone 13 Pro, which happens to be right here at the top. When I click on this repair manual, we have a whole PDF of everything you need to know about your phone. So internal view, parts that you can order, screws, tools, everything like that. There is a ton of stuff in here and Apple does recommend or really make you read this entire manual before you continue. But what we need is right here under, under ordering tools and parts, there's the manual ID right here. And this is what we're gonna go ahead and copy and go back to our self-service repair store. We really do recommend that you check out that manual and read that before trying to do any repairs yourself. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit submit on that and it'll give us a check mark. Now I'll enter my serial number and move on to the next step. Once the serial number is entered, you can see my product was added to the cart. So we have our parts that we need to make the repair, but I feel like I'm missing something else and that's the tools to actually do this appropriately. And down here, Apple has just what we need. I can go ahead and buy all the tools by themselves. I can buy a spudger, I can buy the bits that we need, adhesive cutters, protections, we have torque drivers, trays, we get even the fancier stuff like a display press and a heated display removal fixture. Or you can just go ahead for $49 in the US, rent the iPhone 13 Pro Toolkit. I already did an entire video on this and I really recommend you check it out, but it shows all the tools that you get. 
you get to borrow these for an entire week. It has everything you need to do the repair. It's got display presses and battery presses, all sorts of crazy stuff to do these repairs. So you can rent this for only 50 bucks and then send it back to Apple and you will have everything you need to do the repair appropriately. So we definitely recommend you add this to the cart as well, unless you happen to have all of it. Once you do add to cart, Empo will make you agree to this whole long terms and condition that you're gonna turn this back, or they're gonna to start to charge you a penalty, or the fact they put a $1,200, $1,300 charge or hold on your credit card until they get the gear back. Once you've gone ahead and added everything to your cart, you can go ahead and then check out. For me, doing a camera replacement, here's my cart. I've got my display adhesive, security screws, the camera module itself, as well as a universal screw kit. I've also got my 13 Pro Toolkit for $49. You can see there's gonna be a rental authorization on my card, as well as my actual purchase price. Once I go ahead and do that, I can check out, enter my information, or check out as a guest, provide all my shipping information and credit card information to pay for this, and I'm good to go. For me, it only took about three days after putting in my order when everything would arrive. I got two of these large cases with all the equipment. Again, check out that video because this stuff is really cool and interesting. But all the equipment arrived, including things like screwdriver sets and all the other necessary parts for that tool rental. I also got a small box, this one right here, which contained all the uh, parts necessary for the repair. I got a little box just like this. And now, when I originally ordered this one, my first repair that I did was for a battery. So that's what I got here is a new battery to put in my iPhone 13 Pro. And you'll get the parts that are necessary based on the repair that you're trying to carry out. But that's it. Then you go ahead and repair your phone. I'm not gonna walk you through that in this video because there's a bunch of different iPhones and a bunch of different repairs and they all vary just a little bit. So read those manuals and take a look much deeper in how you can repair your phone. And if you feel comfortable, go ahead and try it out. There's a link to the self-service portal down below in the description. And I wanna know, would you guys try this? Would you feel comfortable renting all this equipment and trying to repair your own iPhone screen or camera or anything else? Or would you rather just save the time, money and hassle and take it to Apple or an other authorized service center? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Stay tuned. Got a lot more videos coming your way.